PZJA was on her way back from work. She took bus 266 and went to sit upstairs as usual. She finds a book on the seat next to her. Cosmo Comics, she whispered. Someone must have left it there. The cover looked interesting, different from the books she has usually seen. There was something intriguing about it, so she flipped the page. Her eyes widened as she read the title. The Distance of the Moon? It's a story about a time when the moon was so close to the earth that a group of people would row their boats to the sea, where the moon came closest, and climb a ladder back and forth. From earth, they seemed as they were hanging, but for them, it was a normal position. Through this journey, a love triangle happened, where QFWFQ fell for Miss VHD VHD while she yearned for the deaf cousin, who was in love with the moon, until the events of one strange night when QFWFQ gets to be alone with Miss VHD VHD on the moon. He realizes that he does not feel the same for her out there. I thought only of the earth. It was the earth that caused each of us to be that someone he was rather than someone else. Up there, rested from the earth, it was as if I were no longer that I, nor she that she. So he came back to earth, while Miss VHD VHD decided to become the moon in hopes of being loved by the deaf cousin. And as the moon was drifting away, QFWFQ kept hauling for her. She who makes the moon the moon, and whenever she is full, sets the dogs to howling all night long, and me with them. Suddenly she looked up and realized that she had missed her stop. So she took the 460 bus in the opposite direction, and while she was sitting in the bus, she couldn't help but wonder why she was relating to the story so much. She thought to herself, I also catch myself looking at the moon sometimes, as though I've lost something. Maybe my inner child and how you used to dream and how free I was. Maybe in the story the moon was his imagination, his fantasy, somewhere he could escape from reality. But he was down here on earth, his physical worth that he couldn't let go of. The worth that has shaped him and made him who he is. Yet his imagination is what was keeping him going and that's why he kept going back and forth as if he was torn between the two words.